Hello, I'm Fuse from Exile, and these are the six star war attacks of Exile Warlords vs. Donor Party. A note to my clan, I do have several of these saved up to share. I skipped ahead to this war because I wanted to show healers post nerf. This was a fresh hit against the Town Hall 11. I lured a hound out of the clan castle, decided it wasn't a threat, and went on with my attack. Some people might call this a spam attack, but there was thought involved. A mini bowler walk on the left and the right formed a funnel, and the rest of my troops were sent right down the middle. I pretty much knew this was going to be a three star from the start. This was a terrible base design, which was perfect for a bowler attack, and this is a very rushed base. In fact, this whole clan was full of rushed bases, but hey, don't blame that on us. We play with the cards we're dealt. Notice that while some of my healers do get killed, some of them also survive until the end of the attack. Of course though, you know this is a six star war, are you ready to see the next attack? I started out with four archers. My intent was to put one archer on each of the army camps, thinking that they were out of the range of defenses. After dropping three of them, I realized they weren't. So I went to start my main attack. I accidentally dropped the fourth archer before creating a funnel with two bowler walks. This was a cleanup and I knew there was a hound in the clan castle. So of course I didn't bring any troops along to deal with it. I brought poison for the pups. Here come the bowlers. Take a look at the clock. That's all the time they needed to flatten this base. A jump to the core, free spell on the multi-target Inferno, and of course, rage. The first poison spell goes down to eliminate the pesky balloon. Boy, everything's just erupting. Again, some of my healers die, and some of them survive. A lot of us were really concerned about the healer nerf, and some people still are, even going as far as to say RIP healers, or Queen Walk is dead. But as things turn out, they're doing just fine. Next up is Petito. He is relatively new to the clan, and I believe this is the first of his attacks I've ever shared on this channel. He drops one lonely wall breaker of all things into a spawn hole, triggers the clan castle troops, and several bombs. He goes in from the south of the base and dumps poison on the dragon. In go Valkyries, and they will reduce this base to rubble. As with many Valkyrie attacks, he brings rage and heal spells for the core. That keeps them alive and angry. Nicely done, Petito. Sometimes a Town Hall 9 needs to take out a Town Hall 8, and it was Petito's turn to do just that. Golems go down to tank, wizards to take out outside structures, poison for the clan castle troops, and Valkyries to smash the base to bits. Mm -hmm. 
That's a six star war for Petito. Welcome to the channel, Petito. Next up is Ismail, also with golems and valkyries. Like Petito, he also brings along wizards for support. Wall breakers bust open a hole and in go the Barbarian King and the Valkyries. Notice the single test of Valkyrie that he uses to make sure they're gonna go where he wants them to go. I would have preferred a better plan to kill the dragon, but it does eventually get shot down by wizards. Honestly, at Town Hall 8 especially, the clan castle should always be lured. But it did work out this time, so perhaps I'm just being picky. In any case, he three stars the base and he does it in good time. Here he is again, once again opting not to lure the clan castle. The dragon stays alive for much longer than what makes me comfortable, but eventually does get shot down. Overall, two nice attacks and a six star war. Great job, Ismail. That's all for now, but I'll see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching.